Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. We are back in Red Dead Redemption 1 and now we're going to be doing it. Uh, we're going to be doing some missions. So, quick recap what happened last week, la last episode. We did some missions. We, we did lots of missions. We discovered Tumbleweed. We met this guy named Seth. Um, that's really it, I'm pretty sure. There's really anything else um, other than that. So, um, yeah, we're actually doing more missions this episode. I don't really have anything else to do. But maybe what I, one thing I can do is this guy right here. I don't know who this guy is, but I'm pretty sure it's the most infamous stranger mission in the game. Which, if you guys don't know what it is, is the I Know You mission. Basically, it's the strange man mission, how he apparently knows John Marston and all that type of stuff. I'm not, I'm not the, really the best at explaining it. I have just like a thousand videos out on YouTube that'll show, that'll explain the strange man in a way or in a way. But I want to, I want to start doing it. The thing is the fact that, um, that um, uh, I want to do it in this place because it seems pretty cool. And uh, I just don't want to only do missions. I want to actually do stranger missions. I want to unlock stuff pretty much. So, um, let's go to, uh, the stranger. So, um, yeah. I think it's going to be right here. And we got some, we got a camp right here. Probably nothing too special. Let's go. Come on, right here. Oh, I had to go down. Oh, no, 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 no. Right here. This is this is not the strange man. I'm pretty sure. Hey. I don't know what that is. That's not the strange man. Uh, where is the strange man? That's my question. Probably not here. Probably like somewhere like somewhere else. Somewhere in the area. I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna head back. Actually, I'm gonna head to Irish. This guy right here, and I'm gonna do that mission. Virus. Let's go. Yeah. Actually, why am I uh, doing this when I can set up a camp? Oh. My horse is gone. Oh, never mind. He's okay. Alright, let's set up a camp. Come on, game. 
Alright, let's jump down, I guess. I should probably sleep, so, um, yeah. Frozen. Oh, okay. Alright, let's speak with this Irish guy. A Frenchman, a Welshman, and an Irishman. Oh, yeah, I no. Yes, boy, oh, you missed it properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard. You thieving me cunt. Yeah, you got it all wrong, Welsh. All wrong. Yeah, it was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. Here, keep on talking to you, Irish. In about 15 oh. more seconds, your whole world's got turned black. <laughs> What's up, boys? Why is the cutscene lagging? Fuck off. My goodness. Boy, oh, this don't concern you. When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boyo. Look here, this petty bastard stole our gun. Okay, this is a very glitchy emulator. I don't know why it's freezing. Try to steal our horses. Lost clear on the map. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in army life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, y'all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, boy? The bloody cavalry? Your voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boy. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. Nice. Frozen again. Uh. Who the hell invited you to the car? Pretty good. Whoa. I always did have the last laugh, Wes, boy. <laughs> Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life... Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. Uh, untrustworthy, poor in personal hygiene, lacking in the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. Uh, what about the gun? It'll be my pleasure. Uh, she's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Uh, follow me, fella. Alright, let's do this. What if this guy doesn't even have access Already to a gun? Already, we guardian angel this way. This is turning into a hell of a day. Let's go! What's your name, friend? John. John Marston. Oh, come on, you came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk me last breakfast there for a second. <laughs> Who were those fine specimens of humanity? They was me only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them bastards dead. We all met on the boat over a few years back, we did. Kick his knees ever since, and that right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? Never trust a Welshman, me pa always told me. And he got his throat slit, so he should know. The kind of fellows who will steal an acorn from a flying sow to then keep her for squealing. And as for that French bastard... He didn't sound very French. Well, he sure speaks English funny. Not anymore, he doesn't. That guy that looks like Irish. The other, the guy that we killed. Nice, too short for regrets. And I have grown them fools. Not for now. The team and bastards are horned up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. You best not be lying to me. Listen, fella. I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Irish, 
I met enough men like you to last me a lifetime. Two bit slugs who think they're snake. Better watch your mouth, me friend. I've cut out a man's tongue for less. We both know you ain't doing nothing. Let's just get this gun and we can both go our separate ways. You can make quick work of those fellas if they give you trouble. Go and store it just inside that chat. What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. Oh, cool. Get inside with cover. Get in cover. Okay. You're mine now, you dumb bastard. Oh, come on, I'll let you go back. Whoa! Alright. Did I? Nope, no, did I? Okay, that works too. Oh, my screen is mine. Alright. Oh, I got shot in the head with a shotgun and I'm still alive, apparently. Okay, that took way too long. But, um, I killed him. And also I like to point that Iris did absolutely nothing. It's not here. That lion sack of shit. Oh. Alright, well, where did it just go? I I actually don't know. He went all the way to Benedict Point in like two minutes. What the hell? Okay, well, we're, we're gonna meet this guy. We're gonna, we're gonna end him. We're gonna, let's beat him up. Alright, let's go. Ah, <sighs> I am about it. Still cannot get over how good this outfit looks. Like, I just wish that they added it to RDR2. I wish that RDR2 John Marston was actually John Marston, not John Morgan. Uh, but like, we, I, I don't know why. Like, you could have easily ported everything. You could have even ported these outfits as well. Reddit has like, in my opinion, Reddit 2 has like the weakest outfits in the game. Like, most of the Reddit 2 outfits are just so mid and you could just look. Just like search, uh, like if you have Reddit two and you like got all the outfits, just do you see any like outfit that's actually appealing? Like they're all so mid. Well, in RDR one, all of them are like really good. Yeah, let's go. Oh, there he is. Who do you want? I, I see you. Get away from me. Right here. Where's that machine gun, Irish? Oh, Mr. Marston. I, I found you one. Uh. Found us one, Irish. We're in this together. You, me, and then an assault on Fort Mercer. I'm the guy that saved you from getting killed back there, and who you owe your life to, remember? <laughs> Not really. It happens to me all the time. <laughs> you don't want it to happen to you again, do you, Irish? 
No, friend. I wants to buy you a drink. I wants to tell you how much she means to me, how special she is. And I want to tell you that if you don't produce a Gatling gun within the hour, you'll wish you'd been killed back there. <laughs> it's the whiskey, sir. <laughs> it gives me the memory of a newborn babe, as innocent as can be. And it makes me violently angry. Shall we go look for that gun, sir? <laughs> yes. Let's do that. Uh. Not a fella to give up easily, are you? Oh, this, this is one of the most annoying characters in the game. Stop, damn it! Come on! I love me faithless Flora, the lily of the west. You're not gonna pass out on me, are you, Irish? <laughs> me? No! Right this raid. <laughs> or at least somewhere stuck between air and medley. Well, you're gonna be stuck somewhere between dying and dead if you try to cross me again. It's worse like that at all, Keller. The intentions were pure. I swear it on me poor mother's life. I just get a tad confused from time to time. Honest mistake. If there's any more confusion, I'll finish what your friends in Armadillo start. Jesus! You're an impatient bastard, aren't you? Where's the gun, Irish? I hear some miners been blabbing about a machine gun they found. Apparently, they got it stashed up at Gap Tooth Breach. What do miners want with a machine gun? Shooting at somebody, I suppose? Or sell it? I don't know. I've never been down a mine in all my life. Sounds real fishy to me, Irish. I've just about had it with you and your game. You and Wes Dickens are so crooked, you can swallow nails and spit out corkscrews. Maybe if you was more cordial with folks, they might be better inclined to help you. I saved your life and you repaid me by lying, nearly getting me killed, and making me shoot a bunch of men I didn't need to. I'm a long way past cordial. Not fair now, Johnny. We should go around the side of Gap Tooth so the miners don't see us coming. I still don't know what miners would want with a machine gun. Miners are always fighty bastards. Spend too long without daylight and boxes, and it starts this guy is with a your pretty mind. big idiot. I never heard so much shit come out of one mouth. Let me tell you what I heard. Oh, and we'll need a wagon or something to get it out of there. That gun's heavier than sin. So how was I supposed to move it by myself last time? You two-faced little bastard. It doesn't even answer that. Here we are. Let's stop here a moment to get a lie of the land. No. Oh. The entrance is plain to see, and there's a shaft them bastards used to haul out heavy ore. We, I mean you, can use that lift to get you and the gun to the surface. I do it all myself, but the mines play havoc with these sinuses. I'll find us a fine place to hide these horses, and then return with a borrowed flat wagon. I'll meet you at the mouth of the mine shaft, and Irish, I strongly advise you don't run off this time. Probably is gonna run off. I think my memory, I think he does it now, according to my memory. Hey guys. Oh, this is Gap Poop Breeze. Oh. 
damn, after playing Red Dead Redemption 2 for like literally forever, this place is so different. It's the same that New Austin and RDR2 is like a joke compared to New Austin and RDR1. These guys are idiots, what are they doing? Oh, okay. That's aggressive. Wait, where, where is he? Alright, man. I, I really want, like, zero trouble. Oh, come on. Ah, um, yeah. Come on, you guys have to do that. Come on. John's endurance. Damn. There is a gun here. Okay, well, it's blocked off. I think we have to take a longer path. Oh, I can't. Stop shooting at me! Oh, this guy is very annoying. Oh, damn, that was sick. Last draw. Of course, there's more of them. You said you were, this guy just said you were too crazy for blood. He's in a pile of it now. Oh, come on, there's so many. Can I hit the time? Okay, that did lots of damage. Die 
dynamite. Oh, that's a gun. Looks like dynamite. Oh. Okay, well, this is weird. But isn't there gonna be more enemies? I hear the music playing. When you're, when you're, when you're pushing the minecart, you'll gain enough speed and you'll jump on eventually. Alright. Oh, yep. You do technically jump on. Oh, here it is. That one now. There's he is. There's the Irish guy. <laughs> I thought I'd be looking at your carps being hauled up this lip. Load up and I'll engage the gears. Wait, John is on it? Okay, okay. We don't have to run all the way through the mine again, which is good. Oh, there she is. What a beautiful weapon. God's own gun. Ain't that the truth? I got us a borrowed flat and parked down below. Don't let go of her! She's a beast! Oh, there's more enemies? Oh my god. Oh, wait! Is that the iconic death? Like, what? I, I fire it! It's the meme! I don't know what the meme is called, but like, it's like the guy screaming. I just heard it. We're really pressing that down. <sighs> Thing is, Bill's not even gonna be in Fort Mercer, he's gonna be in Mexico. I never heard that death sound. I didn't know it was from Red Dead Redemption. Damn. What do we have next? Mission wise. We really we don't really have we only, we only have Marshall Johnson. So let's go to Marshall Johnson. See what he has for us. And um yeah, uh I'll I'll cut alright. So um we're back. And uh we're back to Mamadillo. So oh okay. 
so um, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing this monster mission right here. Uh, I don't know what this is. I think this is the mission where Bonnie and Fallen get captured by uh, Bill Williamson or the Williamson gang. I'm I'm pretty sure that's what this mission is, or something else. I, I, I don't know. Oh, what's happening here? Hmm? My horse just got rustled. Came from under me. Oh my God. Okay. Well, might as well help him. Um. Oh, let's go. Oh, there he is. I see. Sorry, sorry, man. No. No. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I'm getting good at this. Uh. Sorry, Mister. <laughs> Okay. Well, okay. Uh, that also works, I guess. Uh, Alright. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Alright, let's go to Mark. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm just gonna Alright, well, what's gotta be something to do with that government boy? We'll talk to him, find out what he knows. Fucking is. Where is she, Marston? Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum! Where's Bonnie? I don't know, I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? Because she hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, just... Drew, nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Yep. Mr. Marshall! We'll return the guy that we talked to, the Norman guy. Hell's that? We'll have to bring him. Even better! Good day, Mr. McFarlane! Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarlane wants to see his bunny back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarlane! This is a nice girl you got there. Get down from there! You know, part of me's got the thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? Yeah, this guy's very baby. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do. Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Whole government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is the land of opportunity, mister! And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself! You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! Bill is definitely... What do we do? Definitely. We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarlane, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. Alright, let's just get to the riding part. Let's go. Come on! He basically, hard to he basically goes uh, Captain America mode in uh, uh, See, this is what assembly the federal things, interfere in our affairs. Which are are you happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the King of Diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in sheep clothing, all of them. Rob you, then make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. Fellows I know don't care about people. 
All they care about is lining their pockets. Why is this sorry son of a bitch so important to them? Norman Deke Williamson's right-hand man. In other words, a glorified errand you boy. Wait, Marshal! I'll be back for you! Bill's standards have slipped. I laugh at Bill is like the death of me. We already found you with late one! He's like the death of me. Once you play audio 2 and you play audio 1 again, you understand how much you ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line near your deputies. You know, for his sake, they'd best not have laid a finger on Miss McFarland. What is this place we're headed? Double weed, a lonely godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed, and that was that. Pretty soon everybody had up and left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like Deke here. A popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. Or they all just went crazy and lost their minds. I just hope you're not taking advantage of the McFarland, Marston. They saved my life. Gave me food and bed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I can ever repay. That's just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable, in different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. Oh, I know you helped. Just like you helped me. But you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson and Pass. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubts. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business neither. How is this mask supposed to turn out? Sending an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyway, just to spite me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. You look at Pete here. Go to hell! Man has worked hard at civilization. Your boy steps out of line, you whack him. He does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal. And I respect what you're trying to do. What I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Criminals are like weeds, Marston. Quicks you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. It's the nature of places. You know that as well as I do. The problem with laws is everybody ain't the same. Why should a bunch of rich university boys in the East get to decide how a man in Armadillo should live his life? Uh, well, maybe you're right about that. Yeah. Where you from, Marston? Lots of places, I suppose. I've been living up on a little farm in West Elizabeth for the past few years. No, I mean, what's your nationality? I'm Irish myself. You're about as Irish as I am Scottish. I am Irish, you son of a bitch. An Irishman who's never left New Austin. My father was a Scot who never stepped foot in Scotland. You gotta admire the patriotism. Perhaps you need somebody to mind you, your manners. You talk mighty big for such a little fella. You ain't a stud dug in this pond, Mr. Mail Order. Cowboy. Come on now, boys. This ain't gonna help Miss McFarland. Sorry, Marshal. This whole mess is starting to get to me. I can't wait for you to meet the boy. Converging on. Oh yeah, yeah, we just are. Oh, oh down, yeah. Uh. Boys, we get that smoke in our necks. <laughs> oh, here we are, tumbling.
Ah, uh, oh. Cross the bridge! Oh. Not far to go now! Yeah, we the other John, you'll be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair my ass. I bet. Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. Marst, lead Deke into town. Make sure you keep a gun on that son of a bitch. I'm sure it's been nice for the boys to have a whore to play with. You want me to shoot you, friend? I'm walking, goddammit! I hear those rancher girls like it. In the... Stay calm and start walking. You get yours, you son of a bitch! Come on now, boys! Cut me loose! Where's Bonnie? I thought we had a deal. Well, you thought wrong. We don't make deals with the law. Oh, what? They killed him! They killed him! They killed him! Guess I'll make the gun lay after all! Oh, hey, what? They wanted him back and now they just killed him? Oh, he's dead! Oh, he's actually dead! What the? Okay, so he made it. They made us come all the way down Did here. They should have taken him back. They just killed him. Where's Bonnie, you sons of bitches? Go ahead, reload. I tell you. Bonnie, where are you? Wow, they really just killed him. Is that all you got? Bonnie, we're coming. You're dead, boy. Where's Marshall going to? Oh, what the f- Oh! Okay! That's a lot of fighting to get to. That's- that's real durable. It's- it's bad to my god. Get away from her! I thought I thought that I thought I, mean, I thought that was really efficient, but never mind. Too late to talk about things. Okay, well, I just put it down. Come on. Can I just not like, shoot it out? Oh, 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 Mike, he's actually kind of adorable. Well, I think he was just kind of hanging sideways. Die, buddy. So, like, uh... Um, have a little bit more time if he's hanging sideways. It's not like the middle of the head. Stupid man! 
Well, you weren't exactly helping me. If you think I'm gonna lower myself by making a joke about being all tied up, you got another thing coming. Come on. That nothing. Very, very durable. That's the only thing I can say. Like, imagine surviving all that. Let's, let's go. To, let's go meet up with West Dickens. We haven't met. We haven't met with him. Yet. So, yeah. All right. Well. Let's go. Oh, it. And a swindler changes something. Mr. Marston, sir! John Marston! Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on, sir, I implore you. He's very worried. He's very scared of John. Okay, okay, okay. So I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met. If, but my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, then certainly Bill Williamson. But first, you need me to do you a favor? <laughs> you read my mind. I can only deduce you've been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. It can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. I'll give you insight. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, this show of is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. Um, sir, sir, I am about to do something which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. A selfless act for you. But sir, before I act selflessly, allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. Fair enough. Oh, good, sir. Come, and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. <laughs> what the hell is happening? Mingle with the crowd, I'm pretty sure. Oh. I'll mingle. I don't know Friends! Hard-working souls of uh, playing view! Do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, oh my God, not this again. chronic sciatic, or neurological or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article which cures headache, neuralgia, uh, toothache, earache, backache, Fraud. swelling... This man is a fucking charlatan. He just got done swindling us down at Cho Springs with this song and dance. I said we oh. tore and feather him right 
Right oh, the guy from the other team. Roger, it's time we take our business elsewhere. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I could apologize from the other if thing. science is not your forte. Good day, one and all. Somebody, get that thing back. Kill these guys right now. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'll get on. Saint Homobonus has not been looking down on me favorably. Who? Homobonus, the patron saint of businessmen. I'd say he's giving you your just desserts. No, poppycock. Those inmates were clearly informed of my refund policy. You can only shit on people for so long before they decide it's their turn to pull down the pan. A crude metaphor in every sense of the word, my dear boy. You need the business to me. Do I try to tell you how to operate? Robin Banks felt more honest than this. Mind shot, my boy! Happened. Oh, you can see hats and good stuff. Alright, guys, we're back. And, uh. What do these numbskulls expect? Miracles? Yeah. Well, that's about what you've been promising them. They were. I'm not sure we're out of the woods yet. Oh. For a man of the people, you sure ain't very popular. I am up against the weight of plebeian hatred.
I've had just about enough of saving your life. What are you gonna help me? Okay. What do you mean? I gave you Seth. I gave you Irish. And I've also given you the plan of attack. Patience, my dear boy. How many more of your happy customers are there? Ignorance is in no short supply around here, John. Locked in and still on by it. So on with the test in audio too. That's a my boy. So many. Maybe you need to think about a change of career. I will never give up on science, John. such bitterness. Well, I ain't surprised. That tonic I drank at Ridgewood went through me like a new. Ow. Did I? Ah, you're supposed to be protecting me! Oh, you got shot. Don't worry, West, they can We made it, John! There's Quavosaka up ahead! a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. Well, yes, yeah, so perhaps we should shell the tonics business for a period. Let's say we try our hand at racing again. There's a meet at Ratzgeller. You're trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. Well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. Cavalry. Forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. I don't want to wait for that. I really don't. But like... I really just don't want to race again. Uh, well let's go up with these landing with some person where Irish is. Oh wait, there's, there's a mission right here. Well might as well do this one. The sport of kings and lies. Mr. West Dickens! Ah, Mr. Marston! How wonderful to see you, sir. How wonderful. Are we ready then? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, nearly, sir. Barely nearly, sir. I just need some cash to get some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse here. You, you what? <laughs> Never mind, sir. I can only presume that you have not enjoyed the benefits of a classical education, so I will not take umbrage if some of my illusions sail over your head, sir. I won't pretend to understand you, but I will endeavor to make you understand me. Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I 
knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We need money to outfit my carriage, to turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into something more subterfuge. <laughs> and I'm about to tell you how we are going to gain said cash. Now I know that you ride very well. Oh, so come, come on, sir, no race. To Rathskeller Fork! <laughs> Let's go, my dear boy! You know, I really I'll want to put a board in this guy's head. Like, I really... Oh, wait, what? Oh. I really want to put a board in Nigel's head. It's a free thing. So how are you, John? Okay, all things considered. Hopefully we can get through today without running into another army of your satisfied customers. Onwards and upwards! I refuse to let the blind stupidity of the proletariat derail my calling in life. Nothing blind about it. I'd say they saw right through you. Ah, before knowledge comes down, my dear boy. Everybody knows you're as crooked as a dog's hind leg, West Dickens. I resent that implication, John. I wasn't implying. I was telling. If you're such a successful businessman, what are you doing living in a cave? Delightful and Dickensian, isn't it? If you say so. Are you familiar with the concept of philanthropy, John? I'm surprised you are. Oh, I don't do any of this for myself, John. I hope you realize that. You're crazy, old man. You seem to be forgetting that I've been part of your ridiculous charade. Ah, oh, seeing a lame woman walk again. That's all the pay I need. Why don't you give it away, then? But I have expenses to cover. My horses, my wagon, and the man must eat. You certainly look like you eat. So, are you ready for the race, John? Yeah, it's been quite a ride, John, hasn't it? it we haven't gone that far. Made another fat joke. Oh, we make quite a team, you and me. Brains and brawn. We should consider a more permanent partnership. This partnership ends as soon as I have Bill Williamson. I appreciate your help, but I've just about had it with all your schemes. You need to realize what's at stake here. I know, John, I know. Just win this race and we'll be ready. I give you my word. Come! Oh, the 
I need to slide in. I'm getting sweaty, I don't know why. Oh, come on! Who put that rock there? That rock just crossing everything. Okay, nice, nice. A single rock is crossing the whole John can ride a bullet archer. That's one out. This guy is very annoying. How long do I have to go? Oh, give me a second. Oh my god, my hands are so sweaty. I don't even know why. Oh boy, okay. We're going through a little canyon right here, or a little, and we're gonna go through that, and then I'm pretty sure oh, we're gonna end up back there. Let's go! the best rider in this game. Quite obvious. Oh, come on. Oh, yep, nice, nice. I went out the trap. What? Why did you ask it to work in my thing? This shitty horse, I'm not even joking. Okay, may I, may I just suck at riding this thing? Go! Go again! Bro! This glitch happened for the first... Alright, well... Oh, he conquered. Uh, what a fantastic uh, spectacle, John. And, uh, Let's take a moment to bask in the glory of our victory. Have we got enough money now? All right, all right, all right. Uh, yes, once Seth and Irish have furnished their side of the bargain, I think we should be ready. Quite a team we've assembled, don't you think? A bunko, a grave robber, and a drunk. How could things possibly go wrong? I really don't want this mission. Um, uh, uh, who are you to judge? Alright. Um Iris. Let's go to let's go to Thieves Landing. I'm gonna take like 18 years to load. Mm, it's fine. Don't know 
this is, we usually, we wouldn't take this long to load. Up, sister! Put them up! Irish, what are you doing? Who the hell are you? Give me that. I'm your old friend, Amnesia. Oh, oh God! Blimey! And I've come to tell you, if you ever pretend to forget my name and your debt to me again, I'll make sure you reach heaven before these two ladies. Now get down there! Oh, oh. oh. oh Mr. Marston. How are you? Ashamed. Ashamed to know you. The hell's wrong with you, robbing these gentlewomen and ladies of the Lord? I thought they was doxies. Oh. Ladies, I'm sorry about this man. He's unfortunately lost his mind to the demon drink. At least I hope he has, and he wasn't this stupid all along. So, uh, please excuse us. Now, Irish, that Gatlin gun doesn't work. I find that rather upsetting, don't you? Oh, heartbreaking. Which is why I was just coming to see you when the drink got the better of me. <laughs> ah. Come on. I know where we can find the parts for you. Oh, mother fucking Mary. How about a drink or two, mister? I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, for some reason my controls are like inverted. Uh, like, what are you looking my, at? Well, I was gonna say, my LT and RT is not aim and shooting. Now my LD and RD is not aim and shooting. I don't know what that's all about. Uh, I think this is a new quick target target. I don't know what I'm using right now. Oh, too clever. Yeah, it seems to be the one that I'm using. Uh, what are you looking yeah, at? Uh, uh, huh? I can't uh, see the man walk around with such a drive. Hmm. So why can't you see it? Uh, can you see it? I don't know. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I kind of inverted it. All right. Can I help? Yeah, okay. Now, now. I am my pricks in fine looking order. <laughs> what a lusty specimen you are. I like that. That fresh air has got me head spinning like a top. Can't be good for a fella. Shut up, you lazy drunk. Before I stop your head spinning with a bullet. I resent that, Johnny. I've been working like a beaver on your behalf. You've been working like a weasel on my behalf. Bushwhacking, defenseless ladies of the cloth? You must have been raised on sour milk, Irish. What are you talking about? I'm a good Catholic boy. You're a booze-blind coward. And you're a hypocrite, Marston. You've robbed just as many innocent folks as me. I tried to only rob those who had more than they deserved. Christ, the church has more money than anybody. Where are we going, Irish? Just to the warehouse here in Thieves Landing. I'm telling you, Johnny boy, it's all set up. We're meeting this pal of mine at the back door of the office. Hover tongue feller by the name of Shaky. And he's got the ammunition we need? Jesus, stop fretting, will you? I knows about guns front, back, and sideways. You're going to be real familiar with mine if things keep on this way. Alright, we're here. Stay close. One of the most annoying characters in gaming history is this guy. Well, in my opinion, he's just a waste of time. Well, I'll be buggered. This door oh. was supposed to be unlocked! Oh, well, we'll go around the back. Shaky's probably waiting for us there. I'm beginning to lose my patience. 
I think everyone's beginning to use the piece on this one. I'm starting to think you're soft on me, Johnny boy. Can't even sneeze these days without you being there to catch the grips. This is your last chance, you good-for-nothing shyster. You've already wasted too much of my time. Keep your eyes open. Shakey's all right, but I don't trust the gang of fools he runs with. Shake has only gone and got himself found out. <laughs> All right. Now all we have to do is find out who you work with. You hear me? Shaky, you wretched fucking son of a whore. Suck my again! <laughs> oh! Labor relations don't sound like they're exactly at an old time. Hi. You sneak in and get poor Shaky loose. I'll go get the wagon. Good look, Marston. He's a good man, that shaky. Again. <laughs> I'll be waiting out by the front gate with the wagon. Good luck. Okay, what are you doing? Is there like a room that I want to go to? Oh, okay. Oh, I hate it. I hate this thing. It's terrible. Oh, I'm not good at running this thing. Mister, I th 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 thought I, w I was a dead man. My kindness is only as good as the bullets you can fetch up for me and your friend Irish. Let me down, and you'll be a dead man. It's gonna be one hell of a fight. Let's head for the door. Follow me. No, no, you don't. <laughs> You don't want to do this, my friend! I'll kill all you for that! Get out of here while we got the chance! 
Come on, you open the door. I'll, I'll cover you. Oh, no, 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 for them morphine pills to calm your nerves. Sh -sh 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 -sh. <laughs> you'll, you'll get your half. More, you dirty fu -fu 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 fucking snake. Uh, fu -fu 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 All right, gentlemen. <laughs> Let's go. Fucking fuck. Come on, then, Johnny boy. Let's go. Come on, time we was making tracks. Did you have fun in there, you and Shaky? I killed a lot of men for this damn machine gun of yours. I'm sorry I missed all the dramas. You always miss all the drama. There must be cobwebs growing on that holster of yours. Someone's gonna drive the wagon, don't they? Teamwork, Johnny boy. That's my game, not just the glory like you. One more one more. Oh yeah, three legs. I knew they wouldn't give up that easy. Hold them off, Johnny. I'll get you back to the cabin. That's enough, my friend. I'm telling you, Irish, 
That machine gun had better work after all this. Don't you worry. You won't find a finer piece of artillery west of Dublin. Get that fella on the bridge. Jesus, we really ruffled a few feathers back there. Seems like half the new Austin wants to be dead. Don't worry, Kyle, I got you covered. I've given you enough chances to walk away. Jesus, somebody wants to catch that in it's oh real bad. This is where we part ways, Johnny Marston. Or maybe not, friend. You're gonna be right alongside me when I take on that fort. After all you put me through, it's time you pull the damn trigger for once. Show me what a big, bad killer you really are. Uh, yes, of course. What am I thinking? Don't worry, you can count on me. I just hope I don't steal all your glory. Wouldn't be right or proper. Me and you, we should consider making this a more permanent partnership. I think I've about had my fill of liars in this life, partner. Impressive, Marston. We'll have West Dickens's wagon rigged and ready to go soon enough. Before we end off the episode, we should probably do this mission. So, uh, I'm gonna cut and... Alright, we're back. And, um, we are at the mission where we're gonna be raiding Fort Murphy. Oh, hey. Oh, 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 um, Fort Murphy. The place that, uh, started the whole game. So, we're gonna be raiding it. Let's go meet up with the gang. The band or Linda gang. 2.0. Um, any, any day now. There's something going on in the side of the house. How far is it? Oh wow, it's actually coming forward. Why is it being placed in there for us? Obviously there's something going on with that equipment right here. Um, yeah. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's the good? Come on, I should go up under a ledge. Alright, well. Let's go up on the ledge. Salt on Fort Mayfield. This is our kind of scene. John? Marshal? Gentlemen! <clears throat> 
Uh-huh. It's time. We must go. Why? What's happening? Seth has managed to get himself inside. <laughs> but we can't leave it too long, or they will soon realize how very curious he is and remove him from the premises. Or slit his throat and watch him bleed to death. But for a minute, he will delight and amuse them. That's when he'll get us inside. Okay. Marshals of the law, when the shooting starts, take that as your cue to start awarding each other medals. Hmm? I mean, take that as a cue to get inside and clean up the mess. Oh. All I care about is Williamson. It is vital we stop him. Agreed. That man is a stone-cold killer. Williamson's a proud fool. The question is which will win out between his pride and his instinct for survival. That's the boy. We're gonna raid this place. Ensconce yourself in the back of my wagon, John, so that we can make our grand entrance. All right. Come on! Let's dude? go! <laughs> the fat guy. Are you sure he's gonna be of any help? Alright, good! Now just stay put till I tell you otherwise! That scoundrel Seth had better not let us down! Once we're inside and I lulled our adversaries into a false sense of security with some beguiling sales pattern, I will give you the signal! What signal? The moment you hear a sharp rap on the side of the wagon, rise like the phoenix and start shooting like you've never shot before. This is it, my dear boy. A moment of truth. Me and you, John. One last time into the breach. This is going to have to be the performance of my life. I hope my nerves don't get the better of me. I'll be honest with you, John. I'm a little jittery. John? John? It reeks of miracles back here. Thank God. I'll be ready with that machine gun, my dear boy. I'll be a sitting duck in there. This is the only thing where nothing goes wrong, other than the fact that Bill is not even there. Like, I don't think really anything goes wrong with the plan, because that Bill is not here. He's gone to Mexico, and it was obvious. Oh, doing a frozen. Hey, hey, hey there! That guy. <laughs> Come on in! Come on in! Welcome to my humble abode! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> yeah! Greetings, my good men! <laughs> what would you say if I said immortality was at hand? What would you say if I told you I could teach you to fly? <laughs> what would you say if I told you I could turn a man into a beautiful woman? <laughs> Impossible, yes, once, but no more. Gentlemen, I bring you wisdom from the East. I have here in this wagon some of the finest goods, the best medicines, and the newest inventions available for you and your families. Exotic trinkets from the far reaches of the earth, elixirs that give Bigger and strength. <laughs> and uh, for you men of physical skill and athletic physique, uh, this miraculous elixir can keep the muscles supple and relax the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of vigor and freshness to the whole system. Why, some men have reported to me that after drinking it for one month, they can chew through steel. <laughs> <laughs> this is a miracle, boys. Come on, Prairie Chicken. This way. Come on. Take them down, Boston. Oh, boy. Am I really a lot? Come on, boy. Oh, I don't need to go to the car. Damn it, Flash. Oh, 
I think we have to on a bullet. I am not! What are you waiting for? What are you? For the love of God, Chad, shoot! Why are they all shooting at me? Oh, there. Kill yourself, man. How many are there? You can make the pain less, or there's more. Gentlemen, I bid you farewell! 
Still can't find Williamson anywhere. Hey, it's the snake oil guy! General Adam left the inn, for goodness sake! The fool must be hiding. Men, it is time to start tearing this place apart and find out where he's cowering! You've got sense of urgency here, please! Open the gate! It's the snake oil guy! Well, get the goddamn gate open and lock it behind him! Oh, we've got company, gentlemen. Oh, These scoundrels oh. have got reinforcements riding this way. Oh, my good Lord above. There must be a hundred of them. Ain't that what you want to the entire car. For the entire life. See Javier Escuela. That should make things interesting. Where in Mexico? How should I know? Oh! <laughs> Where in Mexico, you little shit? <laughs> Some place near Chuparos, I think he said. That's <laughs> bandit country. Chupa feckin' Rosa! Oh, I'll take you there, John. I'm real popular down there. You just 
We be at the ferry. I've got lots of friends down south. I'll see you at the ferry, Irish. And just get me things. I'm sorry about this, John. I guess you'll be heading to Mexico. So it would seem. How is it down there? Wonderful. A sweet, peace-loving people with a love of social justice. May you always find coin in your pocket. It's been a pleasure spending time with you, boy. You too, Mr. West Dickens. Marshal. All right, boys. That's enough. And that, so I ignore the background noise. That, the mission. We'll be heading down to Mexico. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys will enjoy. And I'll see you boys, or girls, or I'll see you guys. Have a safe, awesome day. See you guys in the next one.